the point. 860 bullets in a minigun. He can spray this forever. Almost gets caught off guard. The edit there. Bit back just a little bit. He's very low on materials now. Only 20 hours left. Just got dropped by the storm. More fights going players, on around. 14 players. 14 players remaining. It all comes down to this. You see it. Look at everybody. Fade going down to the bottom, bottom of the screen. 13 players left. Chris goes down to cease. Merck's been still alive. Tifu's still up as well. Poach just hiding in his little box. And Triz, the most HP left in the lobby at max 200. Morgoss has so much firepower, but not a lot of materials and shields. It's making it have to second guess these decisions. 11 players left. The final match, game seven of the summer skirmish. In the rotation, everybody's got to go west. Everyone's got to move. Here we go, folks. It's all going to develop quickly. Right one of Morgoss. Tries hit the shot. Nothing as of yet. Turns the corner, spraying on down with the drum gun. The storm at his back. He's only got one direction he can go, and that is forward. He breaks the wall, looking to reload this double barrel. We know how lethal this can be as he moves close. There's a shot on the Tifu. Cease with the trade. Eight now left as everyone's pushing forward. Cease gets dropped by, the, by Bizzle. Seven players left, they're on the edge of this tower. One falls, there goes Sofa. As he took a tumble, Poach down low, playing the low ground. Triz trying to pop this big shield. These are our final players left. All the weeks of competition leading to this point. Six players remaining. Marks with the most health, drops on down. That's actually Poach, who I believe is spraying at him right now. Marksman could have a big... Another point as well. He doesn't have a lot of materials. He's using them sparingly. One player in the house, that's Poach. You got Coop Tree all the way up top. Spray down coming in. Poach with another limb. He's now at three, which will earn him another point. Could Poach be making a sneaky move? Oh! Goes through the door as he closes it. Mark Smith sneaks on it. That's another point. He's down to 12 HP. Only gets a quick little tag there. Top three now. Coop Train, Triz, and Ghost Bizzle. This is it. Remember, Victory Royale is a $25,000 prize. Coop Train has bandages. He's playing the high ground. Triz couldn't have less HP. I'm wondering if Coop Train knows this. He's trying to make a bounce pad play. Nothing as of yet. Coop Train trying to keep this high ground. He flies in the storm. He'll die to the storm. One versus one. Coop Train from the high ground dropping on down. This is it. The final zone is closing. Who will win the $25,000? Here he goes. He's got one layer on him. Will it be a heal up? No, he gets in his face. Oh my God! Ghost Bizzle. Twenty-five thousand dollars richer. You thought he had it. You thought he had it, but here it is. From Ghost Bizzle's perspective. How weak was he? How weak was he? Oh no, this could be heartbreaking. This, this could be heartbreaking. 26, 26 left. That was five limbs and a victory royale. That'll put him with a nice five point game right there. And $25,000. I'll tell you right now, Ghost Bizzle just made himself a hell of a lot richer. Absolutely incredible finish there. The seven games, I needed to be more encouraged to be right. quite honest with you. It's, uh, I just can't get enough of this. Today has been a fantastic day, a crazy number of plays. Players like Bizzle right there last second, holding on to everything that he could, accuracy right when it mattered. It pays off big, $25,000. Incredible entertainment across the last four days, and now it all comes down to basically we wait for the standings. We wait to see where everyone stacks on up. I could not even tell you where it all goes from here. For all I know, the way that those performances at the end, we could have had a, a person sneak up into first place. But what an honor it has been to be part of all this. So, so much fun. I mean, you look around there.